What's going on, Nature Freaks? What's up, Freaks? Dave and Jeremy kicking it on the bicycle. Finally, we're on the bikes, we're hiking. <laughs> a little bit of a break. Yeah, covering some ground right here. We are out, local prairie, looking for some snakes. Dave, what kind of snake are we after today? Today, our target species is the smooth green snake. Like the Michael Jackson of snakes. <laughs> Smooth operator. But anyway, this is uh, not Michael Jackson, huh? one of the few and last remaining habitats for this smooth green snake. Um, this is a big prairie, tall grass prairie, as you can see in the background. We're going to be flipping some boards and rocks and seeing if we can get on one of these smooth green snakes. And who knows what else we'll find. Heck yes, so get ready for some nature in your face. Nature in your face! All right, so not what we want to find. Yeah, we're on a road where there's no motorized vehicles, but bicycles do the same thing. Bicycles of death. If you're not looking out where you're going, but this thing is so tiny, and it's, it's, I mean, look at the color of the road and look at the color of this thing. I mean, it's, I don't <laughs> care. No excuse. Somebody. I saw it riding by. Yeah, I know, but still, not everybody looks for snakes, but it's sad. Yeah. That's a little decay brown snake. <sighs> sad. Just got flattened by a bicycle. No. So, well. Well, some will eat it, right? The circle of life. The only good news about finding the snake is we know the snakes are out today. We know the snakes are Still out. Still a little cool. It's in the 60s, but these snakes come up on this road to seek the last bit of warmth from that sun. So sadly, we had to encounter our first snake as a dead snake. So warm up the in the grass, thing. snacky, snacky for a bird. All right, we got our second garter snake. I found that plains garter snake crossing the road, and Jeremy saw something moving up ahead. What do you got here, Jeremy? We got the Chicago garter snake. Chicago garter snake with the uh, the black. Yep. bands if you can point that out going through yep. the side stripe right that's very distinctive now some people argue that this is not a subspecies at all right they don't recognize it as that but they are definitely different they are unique here here's those lines that jeremy was they visually look different than the planes but obviously with uh if you're doing genetic study i don't know if they've um made these guys just one you know species or not yet if they've done studies on them but this one's got a really cool gold pattern he does i'm trying to get him it doesn't want to he doesn't want to he's like you're going to kill me i'm not there, going there to sit still there you go yeah that is nice now he's yeah it bit me earlier i didn't yeah, even yeah. know that's how tiny its mouth is but all right pretty cool i'm just gonna yep. let him go back let it cruise grass. go but see you later going 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 all right let's go find our green snake jeremy. let's go get the pickle i'm not sure if it's a coincidence that both jeremy and i have bicycles called diamondbacks the diamondback <laughs> Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're walking through this prairie. You got plenty of debris to flip. And uh, we just came across another couple species of snakes. At least one. What do you got? Yeah, we got another garter snake, which isn't happy and has made me smell really bad. <laughs> and then we got a little decay snake. There you go. A little decays brown. Yeah. What's cool about the, all these guys kind of uh, share the same diet. You know, smooth green's gonna be an insectivore, just like this one. We'll eat slugs, worms, grab some small insects. So will the garter. So they're in this awesome prairie, which mm -hmm. there are plenty of insects, plenty of food. It's kind of a marshy area, which is also another uh, perfect habitat for the species we're after. So I'm gonna let these go All back right. under their toasty little tin. Oh, thank you very much. That's <laughs> disgusting. All right, so uh, we're on the right track. We got several species of snakes, not our target species, but uh, good signs. Little, yeah, more tin to flip here, so let's go see if we can get a green. All right, I'm gonna keep this rolling live. Okay. We're gonna walk over here, and there's a nice. I'm gonna wash my hands with some. <laughs> nice big tin right here. Oh, yeah, tins are ideal because it's a cool day out in this yeah. sun. Warms these tins up. Let's flip it from this side, Jeremy, up oh, here, so I can man, see this, it like this, this way. This is working. This is making my hands smell good. Yeah, rub mm. your hands in the poison. Oh, wait a minute, egg. wait a minute. I don't know. Do yeah. not disturb. We got oh, yeah. a couple grasshoppers uh, mm -hmm. carrying each other here. You know what? Just hold on, guys. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Come on. Let's get a green snake. Let's get a green snake. Green. No green snake. Oh, we got a green. Oh, yes. yes. And there's a decay right hold there. It, hold it. I got I just, the, the decay right there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I don't see a decay. It's there. It must have left. Uh, it must have left. We'll see if it's on I camera. I was so focused on that smooth green. I was like, dude, you awesome. forget how pretty. Yes. <laughs> you forget how pretty these are. I know. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Guys, wow. I think this, this might be gorgeous. The first, gorgeous. The first time we ever flip something and found it live on camera. Every time we do this, we don't find what we're yeah, looking for. We'll just, Here we, we go. just take it. 
<laughs> All right. Oh wait, I want to see where that. I did not see a decay. There was snake. a decay. I, I unless, know. I believe you. I'm just saying. I'm, well, there's. Oh, look right there. Yeah, there's he a could crack. be in there. He could be in that crack, He's or he could have just ground, slithered in this crack. grass here. But hey, this is. Whoa, this, you're freaking out here. Okay, settle down. Let me get a good look at that. Look at this beauty. Look at that, man. We set out to find our target species. This was the perfect day to come out. Yep. Now, when we go down south. If you watch any of our videos, you know we made a video of the snakes at Snake Road and we catch a very similar species, at least similar looking, and that would be the rough green snake. But this, completely different species. There are differences you wouldn't notice, but we're going to tell you what those differences are. Starting with the scalation. Yeah, the that's, rough that's green. the most obvious. Right? Yeah. Uh, Here, I'll hold him still. You so just talk this about one that. is smooth, if you didn't figure that out. And that's the smooth green right there. Uh, can you get that? Are you getting I that right it. there? I got it. I mean, look at the sheen on this one. Super incredibly smooth. What am I trying to try to picture? Like what this feels like? Um, almost like a straw. Like if you were petting a smooth <laughs> plastic, soft plastic, like pleathery almost. Um, that's what that feels like. And as you saw, we flipped the snake. So the rough green. They tend to climb. They like to be climbers. They pretend like they're little vines and they have keeled scales, like their scales have been folded. Uh, this one we have to look on the ground for. Yeah, definitely. See these small bushes here? That's where you'd find the rough greens. Now, obviously, you're not going to find them in this area, as we already mentioned, but their habitat is more up in those little low bushes, hunting for the same insects that these things will eat. They yep. eat spiders, they're going to eat grasshoppers, crickets, just any little invertebrate that they can catch. Yeah, we just saw those uh, grasshoppers making future baby food for, <laughs> right? for the green snake right here. Now this one is not an adult, but it's certainly not a baby. A baby is tiny. A little baby is literally like a size of a toothpick. Teeny tiny. So there would be a baby right there, right there, the yeah. tail. Yeah, but they uh, they stay um, smaller than two feet. That would be a big smooth green to be about 20 so inches. I believe I read the the record was like 24 to 26 inches. Uh, so that'd be a beast of a smooth green. You I'm getting a whiff of that thing? musk now. Oh yeah, that's those are just my hands, I think. Here, <laughs> hold the camera. I just want to okay. turn him in the sun so that we can get. He's oh, going nice. nicely. Just so you can get some better B-roll of him, or at least oh, better. Oh man, look, look at that. that. We'll get some good B-roll of this you once see, we get you him. Got his head down. in that sun. Yep. Right there. there you go. Zoom beautiful, in on that. Beautiful. Very cool. And I'll look at the belly. Just either. They'll either be white or yellow. This it's one. Very white, kind right? Of a, as far as I can see through the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome snake. Now, the green. The green is just, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Now, we were just talking about this on the way here. Um, when they die, you want to talk about that? When, these, when you find yeah, them dead, it's unfortunately. it's kind of weird. Well, after they die, they, they lose the yellow pigment in here. and they turn blue. <laughs> so, if you see a blue snake on the ground, probably a dead, smooth green snake. That's very odd, though. I don't know. Does the rough green snake do that? I'm not sure. I believe so. Um... You see a lot on the snake ID pages, people are like, what's this blue snake I found? <laughs> people are like, that would be a dead green snake. And yes, and they look blue when they're dead. Uh, didn't you say you found a living one that I did, had... I did, I found a snake. It was, it was, it was a smooth pigment. green snake, and it was uh, it was just a blue color morph. It had no yellow pigment. It was beautiful. I had it in captivity for years. And these used to be a lot more common. You used to find these... Um, all over these areas but now there's just small local pockets where they're still thriving which is a shame definitely a snake that uh, is losing ground here in our area so that it uh, made it even more exciting to be able to find one because it's yeah, been a couple found of years it pretty easy too it's been what two or three years since we found one of these right but we haven't exactly looked either but well it's good to know that we can come out find them when we want to and this where we're at is protected um, just the area is kept pretty clean there's a healthy insect population. That was one of the things that uh, kills these guys to their detriment are insecticides. There goes the sun. Yeah, the sun just disappeared. I just <laughs> Not the camera. got really the blue all of a sudden. <laughs> so when insecticides are applied, obviously they kill the insects, kill their food. If they get covered in the insecticide yeah, or, the insectic or the pesticide, I should say, is sprayed um, near like a riparian area, river area, and, you know, taints the water, animals are going to suffer. Habitat right. loss. You know what I was reading though? What's that? Um, cattle. Cattle, they say, are one of their main killers because the feeding cows move in. <laughs> what, and, trample them? Yeah, and trample and they, oh, uh, yeah. you know, get rid of the grass prairie area. So, hmm. 
and they were doing research where um, there aren't cattle, the animals thrived, but um, near the cattle, pretty much gone. Extirpated by the moo moos. <laughs> All right, we got a giant tin here that we have not flipped yet, so right. I'm gonna give Jeremy the honors because I have the camera. Let's see what uh, tetanus has for us. Oh, yep. And scan, nothing, scan, I don't scan, think. Scan, scan, and you got that? Yeah, I got nothing. Not a Mr. Woodrow here. Huh. Earlier when I saw that decay, when I found the decay, I didn't see it at first. Oh, fox snake. No way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Holy this. cow. See, we're like nothing. Oh my nothing, gosh, nothing. I just look saw at the look camouflage. At see, that's why we don't put the tin that's why down. You can't right just away. drop the tin right. Hold away, on. Let me. I don't. I don't think the, the audience right sees him yet. All right. Yeah. Put your hand in there, like Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, what is that? Four species of snakes, if you can count the Chicago garter snake. Right, if you and, can count um, that. And you got the uh, Plains, Plains garter Chicago, snake. You got smooth green. Smooth decay. And, and now we got the, ow, foxy lady. Pick up that meow, fox snake. Meow, meow, Look meow, at him. Meow, meow, meow. All right, that's another small one, another juvenile, probably. Let's see. That's not this year's babies. They're smaller. No, no, no. Definitely. I would say yeah. maybe that was last year's it clutch. Could a, it could be a couple a year to just depend on the food source, but fox snakes very being in the cold, rat snake family, cold. they're not going to eat the bugs. They're going to eat the the yep. rats and the mice. Yeah, at this size, they're very rat snakeyish. Uh, and pick them up. Fox Let's snake. get them in the sun. There's too much dappled light okay. here. I want to. I'm going to put just, this down. Hang on, I want to. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We should probably not take for granted. The, go in here. Look. Go in here. One more scan here. Cause you never know, man. These thorns are ridiculous. Huh. I'm glad we didn't just drop it. It, it didn't even move. Mm -mm. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed that. Like, it did not want to be seen. It was like super stealth mode. It did not move. And this species is known to rattle its right. tail when it feels threatened. All right. That was like, it's cold. That's not smart. <laughs> I just cut my toe. You just jacked your foot up. If it's not bleeding, it's fine. We're good. I like that uh, Dave <laughs> is wearing a jacket and shorts and sandals. <laughs> right. That's how you know your body's confused about the weather changing. Or that's how you know that you're in the Midwest. That's true. All right, let me see that fox snake. Although that, you dress like I some. did in Florida. Mm -hmm. That was my winter apparel. There we go. All right, well, this, is, this has been a pleasant surprise. I wasn't sure what we were going to find. We waited. It was cool all morning. We waited till 3 o'clock to get out here because we knew the sun was going to be coming out. Speaking of cool, the snake is very cool to yep. the touch. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because, yeah, he's still in the shade here. That's not in the sun. Look at that belly. Look at that pretty belly on those we things. We can play checkers on that board right yep. there. All right, there's a few more tins we're going to flip. Let's see what else we can find. Booyah. So I kicked over a little piece of plastic over there, and I found a Chicago garter snake in mid-shed. <laughs> I don't see that too often. You can see the two eye caps here. He just started... <sighs> Slithering out of his skin. I'm gonna see if we can get him to come out. Hey, move your thumb real quick and let me see yeah. the eye caps. That's really right there, cool. Right there. Looks That's like awesome. Himself. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can Brand just. Brand new skin. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can gently hold him by the neck and get him to crawl right out in my hand. That would be pretty cool. Here he goes. Look at this. For anybody wondering, this does not hurt the snake no. at all. It actually greatly appreciates yeah, this because right? that's what it was gonna do anyway. It's a natural process. And they shed for two reasons. The skin gets old and they outgrow it. So every time a snake sheds its skin, they're adding a little bit of length. Look at them just kind of twisting those scales and moving those muscles back and forth, which is causing that shed to peel right off his body in one big piece. It's very satisfying to watch Look this. at that. Look at that. I'm going to go a little quicker because I know your battery isn't... <laughs> yeah. isn't charged, so we're going to lose. Look at this. That's pretty sweet, man. I mean, this is something we see very often in captivity, but to catch it in the wild doesn't happen very often. Look at that, right yeah. down to the tip of the tail. Booyah. Boink, Look there that. it is. Nice, brand, brand new, new snake right there. there. Look at that. It's kind of got some there blue on the side of it. Really pretty. So I had one snake, but ended up with the two a snake. Uh, hey. wow. <laughs> Just cool. made this adventure a little bit more cool to Heck show yeah. you guys something like that. As I get musks done. All right, I'm going to let them go right where I found them. So.